Hi guys, this is Vivyansh and today in this video, we are going to do the full review of the Redmi Note 9 Pro as you can see. Guys, this is the device and uh, we are going to do its full review as you can see, it looks very premium for the, uh, from the back. And guys, uh, just a, a blooper that I am going to give you that uh, if your budget is around 16 or 17 thousand, uh, this is one of the best phone that you can get right now. Yes, the Poco X2, I haven't tested it, but the reviewers are saying that the Poco X2 is also a good phone, uh, better than this one. But I feel I personally tested it, guys, and uh, it is also a wonderful phone, guys. So let me start my review, guys. Uh, let's uh, first talk about the pros and then we'll move to cons. So guys, the first thing that I like with this device is the build quality, guys. As you can see, it feels very premium for the price. Uh, it's a 16,000, it's a, it starts at 14,000 rupees, guys, uh, the Redmi Note 9 Pro and goes all the way up to 16,500 and all. So, but for that build, uh, for that price, you're getting an amazing build, guys. We have the glass on the back. There is a glass on the front and uh, it's a goal. A gorilla glass 5 uh, technology guys both on the back and the front so the build quality is also very good and very premium and it looks very good regarding the screen guys it has a 6.7 inches screen as you can see uh, let me go to a, a background uh, uh, so uh, as you can see guys this is the screen and it has that uh, punch hole camera as you can see we'll talk about the camera later guys but the screen quality is very good guys it's a 1080p screen uh, but I don't have any issue regarding the screen quality the screen quality is very good also regarding the auto brightness sensor the auto brightness sensor calibration has been done very well on this phone uh, I don't have any issue with the auto brightness sensor also guys uh, one thing you have to notice that this is not the uh, uh, the phone that has that fancy refresh rates like 90 hertz and 120 hertz but the screen quality and the colors that i was getting in the screen was very good also guys this phone is powered by the snapdragon 720g guys which is a good chipset which is a decent uh, very good chipset guys not good uh, so regarding performance also i have no issues guys as you can see nothing low uh, uh, lacks uh, the performance is very smooth even if uh, it does not have that 60 hertz screen the performance is very good guys also regarding ram management guys uh, i don't have any issues regarding the ram management apps just uh, load and uh, they do not boot out of memory but guys there is one peculiar thing that i have noticed uh, regarding the ram management and uh, guys i'll tell you in that con section and uh, guys this is the model which we are having with is uh, having 6 gigabytes of ram and 128 gb of internal storage so guys ram management is also not a issue in this phone uh, i have a issue i'll tell it later uh, guys regarding storage also uh, you get uh, plenty of storage uh, it's 128 gigabytes and uh, regarding storage also i don't have any issue guys it's a fast storage indeed and uh, guys the overall phone feels very smooth but uh, i have some uh, cons regarding speaker also guys you have just a single speaker here at the bottom as you can see this is the speaker and uh, guys the speaker output is also very loud uh, regarding that it just only has a single speaker it's very loud especially the, in ringtones you can see that uh, the speaker volume is quite good in this and guys regarding uh, the speaker output I don't have any issues regarding the earpiece also guys here it has the earpiece and I don't have any issues regarding the earpiece also the call quality is also very good and uh, guys the network reception on this phone is also very good I didn't have any issue I just used with uh, with a single sim and uh, guys that is geo and I didn't have any network uh, issues also guys you get uh, uh, when you pop up the sim tray you have expandable storage so if you have that uh, 64 GB model also with you, this smartphone you will not have any issue as that as this have a dedicated micro SD card slot now guys regarding the battery it has a 5027 milliampere battery and guys the battery life is incredible on this smartphone let me show you the battery life uh, guys I have charged this device yesterday morning 200 percent and still now guys i am let me focus it for you and uh, guys as you can see uh, still now guys 
I have about 56% of battery life left with me. So guys, regarding battery also, you don't have to worry. The battery life is very good. Easily, it can last you for two days uh, if you're light user. And if you're a heavy user also, guys, it will definitely last for about one to one and a half days. Also, guys, uh, in terms of screen on time, you'll get a screen on time of about seven and a half to eight hours based on your usage. If you're browsing the net, uh, very much then you'll even uh, get to see eight and a half hours of screen on time but if you're uh, mix, uh, if you're using the phone uh, in a mixed proportion like watching videos and social websites and uh, calling and all you will easily see a screen of time of about seven to eight hours so regarding battery life also guys it's a very good battery that you're having regarding unlocking methods you have that face unlock guys uh, in this pop-up camera as you can see uh, sorry pop-up not uh, it's a punch hole camera guys sorry uh, regarding uh, you have face unlock on this but it's a 2d face unlock so it's not that secure so guys we have this side mounting uh, fingerprint scanner and the fingerprint scanner is also very good guys as you can see it's every time it works guys so i don't have any issue with the fingerprint scanner also as you can see uh, guys also uh, the thing that I like with this phone is the cameras. Now we will directly jump into the cameras, guys. Uh, let me tell you the camera configuration. This uh, punch hole camera is a 16 megapixel camera, guys. In the Redmi Note uh, 9 Pro Max, we have this 32 megapixel camera here. But in the regular Note 9 Pro, we have a 16 megapixel. On the back, we have quad cameras, guys. Uh, so the main camera is a 48 megapixel sensor, guys. The secondary camera is a 8 megapixel wide angle lens. And we have a set of two cameras guys uh, uh, both for macro and depth so guys the macro and depth cameras are uh, uh, are pretty good I'll show you some sample shots the camera quality overall I feel is very good guys as you can see with the camera sample so guys these are some of the shots that you can see that I have taken with the Redmi Note 9 Pro and guys the colors that you're getting with the photographs are very good as you can see guys and uh, there is a lot of details even uh, in this price we are getting this Terrific camera guys so I definitely like the camera of the Redmi Note 9 Pro these are some of the shots guys it was uh, slightly blurry guys you have to be still otherwise it uh, might come slightly blurry but the other shots as you can see especially with the front facing camera uh, is very good guys it's very sharp uh, and it produces a yellowish uh, tone to the uh, photographs guys but that looks very pleasing to the eyes as you can see guys the camera performance is indeed very good guys and uh, I would go and to an extent and say that this is one of the best cameras that you can get in this price range so guys the cameras are basically very 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 good for the price what you're getting so guys as you saw the camera quality with this redmi note 9 pro was also very good uh, it's a very good camera guys and uh, uh, regarding uh, the camera i don't have any issues guys also guys as you can see uh, let me focus guys also guys as you can see this uh, this is a IR blaster as you can see and uh, guys you can this is also a thing that I like with this smartphone basically guys you can control televisions ACs and uh, uh, other accessories other electrical accessories with this so this is also one thing that I like also the uh, output from the headphone jack is quite good guys I didn't have any issues with the headphone jack uh, it produces a good decent not a very good guys but a decent uh, sound quality I feel uh, so the headphone jack is also very good in this uh, now let's come to the con section guys and the first con that I have with uh, this phone is regarding the auto rotate screen guys you all know that our phones have auto rotate feature like uh, let me show you in the YouTube guys if you just tilt it it will rotate to uh, landscape mode but guys the problem that I have with this phone is uh, if I just tilt it this much also if I see I have not tilted it like this but I have just tilted it in an angle like this and it uh, immediately uh, tr transforms into the landscape mode so guys this is the problem that I have uh, the most it's a very buggy guys uh, I don't know what uh, it's a bug or what but this is the uh, one of the most Im uh, uh, problem that I have when I just scroll through my chats in whatsapp and just say when just I uh, keep the phone it used to rotate to uh, landscape mode so that was the issue that I saw with the device also one bug I have in the camera is that guys we have a uh, tap to focus in this one so and when I hit the shutter button it takes a 
quite a bit of time and then it clicks the photo as you can see guys uh, when i hit tap to focus and when i hit the shutter button it takes some time and then only it takes the photos so guys this is a bug i feel in uh, the camera uh, which xiaomi can improve via software update so this is also a bug that i uh, saw in this redmi note 9 pro uh, and uh, guys uh, Overall guys, it's a very good phone. These are the only two bugs I encountered. Some of the YouTubers have mentioned about the uh, uh, proximity sensor issue. I didn't have any issues like that uh, in the proximity sensor and this is a retail unit guys. So uh, I don't have any issue regarding the proximity sensor. It works very well. Also guys, uh, one thing uh, that I don't like with uh, this phone is the fingerprint scanner guys. Uh, it it is a good fingerprint scanner guys as you can see uh, but it takes quite a bit of time uh, when compared to the realme 6 uh, it just in not instantly opens it takes half a second delay and then it opens but the accuracy of fingerprint scanner is good i don't have issues regarding that and so guys regarding the ads uh, i haven't seen a lot of full time ads guys but i have seen uh, some unusual content in this notification section so guys there are ads and basically guys uh, i have made a video how to disable ads on any of the smartphone just watch it guys if you want to disable the ads the same will work even with the mi phone also so guys regarding ads also i have not seen full screen ad but uh, uh, the some of the me apps that is the me video me music and the get apps that it has uh, they were pushing out some unnecessary notifications so i have disabled the notification guys and i have also disabled the app i'm not using uh, default apps as of now for messaging also i'm using sms organizers uh, and all so regarding that guys uh, ad is a issue and uh, guys i if i am just swiping it it up also now it's not showing uh, some unusual ads uh, otherwise you used to get very uh, uh, shady types of and semi nude ads like this guys this is the thing that i was talking about you get ads like this and if you're just sitting uh, with your family members uh, and you just swipe the screen you will get this type of unnecessary uh, ads so i feel xiaomi should disable this uh, but guys this is uh, what we has uh, uh, this is what we have as of now so guys this is a, overall guys if you see this is a very good uh, phone also guys i forgot to mention it has a physical led notification light guys so regarding that i don't have any issue uh, it has the physical led notification light but uh, it uh, shines only in white color uh, it's not colorful it's just a, a monocolor light that we have uh, also guys regarding charging the phone charges quite fast it ha it is bundled with a 18 watt fast charger and within one and a half hours the phone charges completely so guys these are some of the uh, these are my views on the xiaomi redmi note 9 pro as you saw uh, there are quite a bit of cons and uh, basically regarding the cameras uh, uh, there are some cons so guys if you pass through that uh, the phone is wonderful guys you will not have any issues with the phone so this was my review for the uh, xiaomi redmi note 9 pro i hope you guys like it if you like my video then do hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel this is divyansh and i'll see you in my next video take care guys